my new little milking parlor. I want to tell you something about her. It has been raining like for days. Hi guys. I don't think I showed you on here. I showed one quick picture on social media, but um, I wanted to show you my new little milking parlor area that I have created over here with the help of Mike, of course. Anyways, uh, we went ahead and put these pallets back that we had up here last year, kind of blocking an area for the ducks, but we moved them around a little bit and we added this nice gate here so that we can keep the goats out of the way when I'm trying to milk because Daisy and Melza know that there is grain up on that stand and they really, really want it. So we have this nice little gate here. It's just an old baby gate that we have repurposed and we just hold it shut with bungee cords, um, top and bottom. And for now that seems to be working okay. Although they do try it, they do test it for sure. Um, so yeah, it's still a work in progress, but so far it's working out really well. I really like it. Let me show you a little bit more. So we come in here and we have just enough room to move around the stand, which is fine. Um, I can get this step ladder out of the way so that they don't knock it down all the time. They do really, really try to get in here a lot because they know that there's great in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So anyways, so we're able to get that out of the way now, which is nice. And of course the stand, a nice broom there for making sure this is cleaned off before we milk and somewhat keeping the floor cleaned, although not so much right now because we have also created a third hay feeder over here. Super simple makeshift, but it works. As you can see, is that good, Daisy? Is that yummy? Yeah, you like that hay, huh? So yeah, just since we already had the pallet here, I had been tucking some um, hay flakes in here, but then, you know, as they start eating it, it just kind of would fall out. So we rigged up this little uh, dog kennel divider here. So it's got a piece of wire to hold it shut and some U-nails at the bottom to kind of create a hinge. So now that helps to hold the hay in place so it's easier for them to get to and it prevents as much from getting on the floor. Although there's still a lot there from before we put that up. So you need to clean that. And then I do still have what's left of this bale of hay back in the corner. It's almost gone, as you can see. And then once it is, I think I'm just going to leave the hay up in the loft and get it from the loft for feeding purposes, which we've done in the past. And that will open up a little bit more room here and also allow me to move this stand over a little bit. Because you see that's the feeder's kind of off center there. It might be easier for it to eat if I could move the stand over to where it's centered on the feeder. So there you go, my milking parlor. Is it beautiful and white and completely secluded from the rest of the goats? No, it is not, but it's functional and that's the important thing. So, this is what we have for now. Will it change over time? Probably. But for now, this is working really well for me and I am really enjoying this setup. The only tricky bit is keeping these two from like going psycho because they know when I come over to there that I have food and they want the food. So once I get them settled down and have with their own food, then I'm able to get to work milking and Life is good. I want to tell you something about her. She was due to go into heat last week and she did not have an obvious heat. But I am not getting my hopes up yet because we know her track record so far. <laughs> but I just wanted to go on record about it. She did not have any flagging. I mean, she would occasionally flick her tail when I pet her, but she always does that anyways. Um, she wasn't loud. Usually when she's heating heat, she's at the gate, wanting to leave, kind of yelling a lot, flagging her tail. She didn't do that. She had the teeny, teeny, tiniest bit of discharge, but that is it. So if she does not cycle again in three weeks, 
we're gonna take her for an ultrasound to see if there's any babies in there. And this one's still being a butt. Aren't you? You a butt? Yes. Yes, a bully. See? See? She just does not like her. You need to get over that. You do. Well, she holds still long enough. I'm going to show you she's like wearing bald spots on her head from head ramming her so much. That's sad. Is that so sad? Don't eat that. It's so sad, isn't it? You're so sweet. Why doesn't she like you? Why doesn't she like you? You're so sweet. What's not to like? Yeah. She doesn't mind you. What's it doing over there, Salt? Are you about to deposit an egg? Yeah, I've been finding your eggs over there. Little Missy. That's not where eggs belong. It's a bit chilly out here, but I wanted to show you guys it has been raining like crazy for days. And it's really wet out here. The ducks are loving it, but my yard, not so much. Thankfully, when it's not actively raining, it is like soaking in some, which is both blessing and curse. Um, so the puddles are not as deep at the moment because it's just been like kind of light rain today. But um, there's still puddles. But problem is when it soaks in, there is so much water in the ground that it gets into the leach lines and backwashes into the septic and fills that up with the rainwater. So, you know, that's a fun one to deal with, but just this water. Puddles for days. Like my yard is one giant puddle. The ducks are loving it over here, what we call the pond because yeah, it turns into a pond and these guys love it. They've also been laying their eggs every which way because apparently the, the water is too fun to leave in order to go lay an egg. So they just lay it where they swim. Yeah. In fact, speaking of which, right, look at all this. There's one right now. Yes, they've just been dropping them wherever they happen to be splashing about at the time. Another thing I noticed this morning, we had a great big branch come down over here and take out our tire swing while I was at it. Yeah, this big center branch here came from up there in the middle of the tree. When it came down, it knocked our tire swing branch as well. So, I mean, it was nice enough to put itself into the brush pile, I suppose, <laughs> but that is a big honking branch that we need to take care of now. So that's fun. The kids and I went out of town to watch the eclipse. Tell me up. What's next? Almost many, there. How many more minutes? You can see on the lens flare, there's hardly any left. How many gone. more? It's probably one minute. Oh, it's really so dark outside. out. Look outside, guys. It's so dark oh, your out. Look outside. It looks like it's nighttime. It, yeah, yeah. It's only it got a little like time bit left. Mommy, it's almost it's gone. Oh, it's so mom. weird it's out. It's going. It looks like. Oh, it's like. It looks like a tiny orange. Tiny orange. It looks strange. It's gone. Take it off. Hey, now look at Whoa. the sky. Whoa. Whoa. Weird. That's called the corona. That is so cool. We were only gone for a couple days, but with all of this rain, a lot of things, a lot of plants started blooming. Apple tree is all in bloom. Um, the ones up front are as well. And a lot of things are popping up and growing. So I guess that's one good side to the rain, but I'm ready for the Mayflowers part of this. Hey girls, they hate the rain. Even their yard doesn't usually get too bad, but this has been like a huge puddle lately. Hey girls, how's it going? How's it going? 
Hi, how are you? Hello. Hello. Good girl. Good girl. My onions are growing though. They're really enjoying this rain. Also got some lettuce coming up here and over here and more onions that are super happy. And also, let's come back over here. My peas finally sprouted along the edge next to all the grass. <laughs> I was certain to wonder if they were going to come up at all, but they did. And I think there are some carrots coming up in here. But when I spread this goat bedding in my garden, I kind of forgot that it was hay, not straw. So I might be growing a bunch of alfalfa in there too. So that could be interesting. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Um, I don't know if we'll be able to pull those out. They're just so dense. And then the garlic back there is super happy and very large for this time of year. <laughs> yeah, lots of rain. Plants are loving it though. Hopefully it'll stop. <laughs> um, I think it's supposed to stop tomorrow, possibly a few days after that. So that'll be good. We'll be able to get outside and get some things done that need to be done. But look how much green. I like the green.